and he's like, oh yeah, I love me some milkshakes. Apparently they're talking about, f they just love food. Who doesn't though? Hey guys, the Ultimate Gamer 19 here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 The Anderson Season 3, Part 92, 90, 91, 92, some, <laughs> one of those parts, uh, we're at the university household now, and I believe Lori is going to be turning into a second semester freshman shortly here, in about five hours, um, in some time. Tyler is beginning his second uh, he's not really beginning it. He's kind of almost halfway throughout his first semester as a sophomore. And he still needs a cleaning skill, which I will go ahead and have him learn. I think I've turned my volume a little bit way too high, so I will be right back to adjust that because I can't do it from here for some reason. Okay, I'm back. So let's do that. She's splashing in water. I don't know why she would be doing that. Bad Lori. Wait, no, don't run. Over here. Might as well eat for before her final exams. Get some brain power, some brain food or something. Might as well. And Ryan is now a junior because he, yeah, he passed his final exams in the last episode. Well, not last, last episode, but from this family, from this household, whatever. <laughs> And I didn't want him to be a romance sim, I wanted him to be like a sim that is a knowledge, you know, a really nerdy sim. I want him to be a nerd. We can, I think we can always change that, right? I don't know. He can be romantic, but he can be also really smart. It doesn't have to be smart knowledge. I, I guess I don't think that it has to be that way. But it's going to be hard for him to get his wants because his wants are mostly going to be about romance. And... I don't know how that's gonna reflect anything, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see where it carries him. So what he needs to do, he needs to he actually needs to do his term paper. Always have to do that. I don't know why, but I always keep saying that he just needs to do his term paper. Let's hope she doesn't get food poisoning from that because it just got right. <laughs> They're back now. Also, everything's clean. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm glad that you could keep our um, our dorms really clean because some Sims do not know the definition of cleaning or not the net net net. Can't talk. They don't know how to clean. They don't. They're just too lazy. That's what some Sims are. Like me, I would clean all the time, no matter if it was my my fault or not. I would clean it. But no, all these, these other sims, they just have to like, no, yeah, we'll leave it dirty, inert. She's juggling water bottles. Isn't that lovely? Are those water bottles? Those are some huge water bottles, but we do have those uh, here. We do have those. I think they're like, I don't know, they're kind of, there's huge water bottles. I just can't, I, I don't remember the name of it. It's just an S or something. I don't know. Okay, he is set to get his other stuff now. His aspiration is really low. He needs to like call Ariana now. I think she's home. Let's see if she can actually, he can actually call her. But there's a phone up here, so I think it'd make more sense if he calls from up here. Yeah. I don't know what time she gets out of work. 
Yeah, she's still not home. That sucks. Okay, what does he want to do? He wants to ask him on a date, dance with someone, and talk about hobby and resurrect Josh. I don't know why you want to resurrect Josh. He's a zombie that got electrocuted. But I guess he can go ahead and ask Brooke out on a date because they never really had a date. They're boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, not really boyfriend and girlfriend. But they're not really. I guess they are. They have a crush on each other. They both have crushes on each other. Let's just consider them that. They should go out on a date. We should do that. So, uh, I'm going to have Brooke go up there and Tyler ask her out. Because it's romantic. And it's what couples should do. Occasionally go out on a date. I don't know. People who are dating should be going out on dates. Okay. Let us see. Ask. On date. Okay, we're going to make this a good date. So, let's do some cool, funny stuff. I don't know. Romantic. Squeeze. Kiss her. Like, make out. Um, not dance. I don't want to dance. Ugh. Kiss her hand. Suck her face off. I think these affect how the date would be. I mean, romantic interactions should do that. Oh my god. They got... Oh wow. They got real... Real good. Real fast. They got real great. Real fast. They're so big. Because they're in love with each other, I believe, now. Yeah. Let's see how greatly it affects it. The kissing and crap. It does affect it. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a great thing. So Ryan completed his term paper. I am proud of you, Ryan. You're, like, doing this without problems. Like, you don't run out of fun that, like, a whole lot. And I'm glad that... You're a great date, baby. We just have to do this again. So he had a good date with her. That wasn't even a date. That was just like a couple seconds of making out. Considered a, a quote unquote date. But he has to go to class. I understand why they would. Okay, Lori. I think she's going to class too. Good job. Go go get your second semester freshman status up. Something like that. What is Kylie doing? She needs a boyfriend. Well, she actually has one. Quote unquote, she does have a boyfriend. Not really. I don't think they're like oh they're engaged she does have a boyfriend I keep, I keep forgetting because I haven't played this in a while dang she's gonna be second semester sophomore too as well as I think Brooke soon she's gonna go be a loner probably because there's like no one up here let's go have Kylie play with her because there's might as well, might as well. He's so happy. He's like, <laughs> I finished my term paper. See, that is why you do your term paper. I, I, don't, I can't stress this enough, but like, if you're in university and you want your sims to get a good grade really fast, like, he hasn't even reached halfway into his first semester as a junior and he's already like almost done. Term papers really do wonders. Just saying. Just saying. Aw, she's gonna go leave a little rose for him. How sweet. Okay, she's tired. Where's her room at? Oh, the only rooms they have are downstairs. Okay. Where's she gonna leave it at? Is at his front door? I think she's gonna leave it at his door. Where's his room? Oh, she's gonna put it outside. Yeah, because, um... Every not you know not anyone can pick this up you know. I'm really bad at explaining things right now. I am so sorry. I'm just not making sense right now. Like anyone can see that they can anyone can pick it up and read it and know their secret if they wanted to keep their relationship a secret. Like what if Ariana finds out? What if you know this thing ends out really badly? But the the good thing is that they both are cheating on each other, pretty much. Well, Ariana is. She used to love, well, she still does love Tyler, and um, he Tyler is aware of her married status, and she has a kid now, but things don't always turn out the way it should be. It's, that's a kind of a little moral or something. Where's his room at? Oh, he's right there. 
Okay, we're going to put this on his desk here, and we'll read it. It's probably the same thing like we always have read, read before, but we haven't read that type of stuff in a long time, so I guess I'll just read it for refreshments or something. You feel? I think, I think, I think. Okay, no, you do not want to hang loose to that guy. You don't want to. I met him at uh, my, um, my current household. I was playing in university, and this guy was, like, sticky. Like, the whole time. Like, dude, did you know, do you know how to shower? You know, there's a thing called a shower, right? Yeah. He was just nasty. Does not know how to clean himself. Um, since we do have some extra cash, I think we should upgrade this university a bit. So, we're gonna delete these cheap computers and replace them with more advanced, uh, expensive computers. And they're not too expensive, they're about 2,800, we have like 30k. So computers are a must, I think. Um, this can stay small, this can, this is a pretty luxurious couch, but it's getting stinkified by people, you know, <laughs> like, it's not like someone here, yeah. These chairs need to be upgraded too, because no one wants to sit on a cold plastic chair. Are these, pla these are wooden chairs. Cold wooden chair. Actually, some wood is pretty luxurious, as, as you can say. But we need like, ho like restaurant, five star restaurant material chairs. And that guy's using that chair. I might delete him. Just kidding. Oops. What's the? What kind of button is? Th What's the duplicate button? We don't have the duplicate button. That sucks. The tables actually look pretty fine to me. So... No, I don't want to do that. Well, actually... Yeah, those don't look too bad. They're like custom content sign, if you can see. But it's not actually custom content. Yeah. Okay, we'll switch these other chairs out once they're out of... Once they get off of them. This can stay out there. I think we're pretty good so far. Actually, we're gonna change these two. Should we use that chair? Nah. Use that chair? Nah. I think we just use these. We use them all the time. But they look comfortable, don't they? Wouldn't you want to sit in this chair? <laughs> I think you would. We'll buy. Three more because just replace these desks. Right chairs everywhere. I think we're good overall. I'm gonna let her nap for a little bit. I'm gonna wake her up later so that way she doesn't wake, mess up her sleeping schedule because her bed is really comfortable. So yeah. Okay. So I think we should go out somewhere. Actually, I should wait for Lori to get back and like who else needs to get back? Yeah, just Lori to get back to get her second semester crap together, and then we can go out probably tonight to another community lot because why not? Actually, I think we should make some friends because this will help us later on in life. Because if you have family friends, then you can like get more promotions and jobs for future. So let's go and make some friends here. Let's talk to this Karen Turney Turnick girl. She's a cheerleader, so let's not let's not be surprised if she acts all stuck up to us. I mean, not all cheerleaders are stuck up, but there's a few out there. Exactly, stuck up as usual. <laughs> you just are not surprised. Not surprised. But we're gonna persist and we're gonna work to have a friendship because she looks pretty nice. She looks nice. That's all there is. See, she likes our jokes, so that shows that she's not completely stuck up. Which is nice. Um, let's just chat. Let's, I don't want to do that. Okay, so Lori has finished the semester with the high enough grades. She got a Dean's List. A plus, university examinations, office is scheduled, Brooks final exams, and Kylie's final exams in five hours. 
Maybe that's why I should wake up her too. Let's wake up right now. Also, since it is getting close to the Christmas time day by day, we're gonna add a Christmas tree for the first time in a dormitory because last year there was no university, so this can actually be the first year we could put a Christmas tree in a dorm. And I think that would add a great little dash of Christmas. I don't know. Mark. Christmas is everywhere, okay? I'm just gonna let it be at that. We're gonna do a white Christmas tree because we did green before. And white doesn't look too bad, right? I like white Christmas trees. I love green Christmas trees. I love both. But we should always have variety, right? Um, let's put up a few wall decorations. I'm glad these these decorations aren't as hard to find because as Sims 3 because Sims 3 is just so confusing. To, at least at first. For me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. We should put these lights all across these hallways because everywhere you go you'll see Christmas lights. And you'll get in that festive spirit, that mood. Get that Christmassy feeling. I love it. <laughs> However, this is gonna be a pain to like put down, like delete every single one of them after Christmas is over. So that's why we do it early. I like to ramble on. Do you guys like me rambling on? I don't think so. I don't like rambling on. Ooh, okay, so I got done with my Christmas lights now, and once you put it into live mode, that's when they actually truly start to glow, which is really nice. I I said that like three times in this part, I think, or four, four times, I don't know how long I did, how much I did. But they do look really nice. Like, I don't know, in by mode, they don't look as nice, but they do know. It really, like, stands out, which is cool. Okay, so let's go and have them go out and perform a little band thingy again which is I think they're all fine right they're fine so walk 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 to, okay <laughs> took me a while to find that I don't know why it's a girls night out again uh, I don't know when we'll have a guys night out I think maybe in the next part we'll have a guys night out just them two to get to know each other um, so I think we should go downtown and party because partying at a dorm is not as fun as you would think because, uh, I just don't know. Maybe we should go to university. Let's go to the, I don't know where to go, to be honest. Let's go to the central quad. Sit down, relax. Great location for watching and meeting new friends. Oh, I don't know. We should go, th we should go to that one later. Let's go to the University Way, why not? So I will come back in when we are at the University Way. Welcome back everyone to the University Way, sometimes on the street. Um, I believe it is our first time here, if I'm not correct. Because I don't quite remember everything like this being like this, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure this is our first time being- Oh my god, this is so cool! I think this is our first time like coming here ever because there's a whole bunch of pool tables where everyone can play and stuff some stools that you can sit on lounging area and there's like the media room it's like an it's like a little mini library and then there's those desks you know you can do everything anything you want here like college assignments and all that good stuff um, this is actually a pretty good place to be I think I'm gonna come here as often as I can like you can go shopping for groceries you probably don't need to because unless you're in like you know your own home or fraternity or whatever uh, play games and buy stuff so this is a really nice place in fact I think we should buy some more phones because we keep losing them or something we have mp3 players which is good but we need a phone so we're gonna buy Brooke a phone let me see if Kylie has a phone I really doubt it stop moving Ugh. okay so she doesn't have an mp3 player she doesn't have a phone so we'll have her buy one too. Make calls from anywhere. 
And Lori should too. Lori should get a phone. Who's she gonna go talk to? This guy doesn't look too bad for her. And also gonna get MP3 player. Maybe we might get a video game. A little late de late tournament de hecadron X5. While we're at it, might as well buy some games too. Might as well buy some computer games, uh, some magazines probably. Spore. There's Command and Conquer. We'll buy my Spore because I like the music of that. Or, or is that my Sims? I think it's my Sims. Let's do my Sims. Let's buy some magazines. Let's do. Let's buy the superstar report because everyone's obsessed over celebrities, aren't ya? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Do that. Let's go eat a drink. Eat a drink. Yes, eat a drink. Blended. What's the lag all about? Oh, it's the witch. Brianna Stomple. Oh, I've seen her before. She comes around every once in a while. I think Lori needs to buy a phone too, right? Because I don't remember her getting one. Yeah, she needs to buy one. Phones are really important because you can call the police if you wanted to. If there's like a robbery on a community lot. I don't know. And that's Thunderstorm, by the way. Yeah. I thought my screen glitched for a second, but it, yeah, it was thunderstorm. It would make sense. Wow, this guy, this dude. We wanted to play this game. We wanted to play this exact slot machine. This, not slot, what the heck. This pinball machine, but then this guy just like takes over it. Coincident, huh? Very coincidental. So, Luke. I don't want to see that. She said it differently with the B and that kind of will sound inappropriate if you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Brooke has a final- HOLY CRAP! They're gonna go run to their final exams. Not saying the final exam will hurt. Oh my god, you see that? They're both running. They're like, we gotta go to this final exam. Okay, so they're gonna go to the final exam while Lori's on Camila. So I guess we'll have to wait. When does it start? So we're gonna have to wait like a couple more some hours before we can end the episode here because this is about almost time to end the episode. So Laura's gonna be solo for now. I think we should have her meet someone. Let's go have her. Hmm. What about this guy up here? We have to take a good look at every everybody. Let's go talk to that one guy, the guy with the bowl haircut or something like that. Is it a bowl haircut? It looks like a mushroom. He has a mushroom hair. Samuel Wood. He is also a secret society member, so that just makes it better. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna ditch us. He's gonna ditch us when we're trying to get his attention. Okay, maybe talking to this guy won't be as bad, right? Marcel Beckett. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Laurie. Let's friendly. Hug him friendly. Oh yes, hug him right when we meet him. He's like, oh yeah, you wanna hug me? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, let's hang out. Let's get to know each other. Marcel. Marcel? Marcel? Parcel? Marcel? He's like, I love frying the megs, do you? She's like, oh. He's like, hmm, I don't know what to say about that. He's like, yeah, I love fried eggs. Scrambled eggs. Sunny side eggs. Do you like milkshakes? And then he's like, oh, yeah, I love me some milkshakes. Apparently, they're talking about, f they just love food. Who doesn't, though? Cause food is great. These fa these chairs are fancy, pretty, pretty hippie look alike. They, this looks like a place for hippies. I don't know why. It's just a whole bunch of random design colors and stuff. Unsavory Carlton, hello, we meet again. <laughs> Do you have a lot of friends that like bombs and stuff? I don't know what that was. It was like a missile. I love missiles. My friends. My friends. Yeah. Definitely. It's 1 a.m. She's still here. But that's not bad because she's not tired. 
I hope he doesn't try to pickpocket us because we're definitely going to get pickpocketed if he was to make contact with us. Alright, so Brooke and Kylie have finished their semester stuff, their, their grades, which is awesome. But unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you guys like the video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you want to continue watching this series or any other series that you're interested in, why not click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, follow me on my social networks such as Facebook or Twitter. You'll be notified of when or what I'll upload. And so just those are random occasional posts that I like to post up. I say the same thing all the time. I should come up with something different, right? But yeah, until then, stay awesome. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully all of you have a wonderful Wednesday. And I might see you guys tomorrow. I might talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, I love you all. Goodbye.